Good evening, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 home office in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of our astronomy blog, Skyblog 3. Thanks for joining me and talking a little bit more about what's going on in the night sky tonight and into tomorrow morning. Some of our websites that we usually use to check out the satellites are down for this evening as the, of the time we record this. So this is going to be a little bit different where we use some different websites out there, which you will see appearing on the screen in front of you here in in just a little bit. Skies are mostly clear for tonight, not doing too bad out across the Mid-South area. You can see quite clearly way back on over there, we've got the crescent moon in the sky, a new moon up that direction, and just barely visible uh, right back over here beyond the post, that is the planet Venus. So able to see a little bit out there and as you can see all the way out throughout the much of the rest of the skies for right now we are looking at some fairly clear conditions out there so looking very nice indeed for this evening and not seeing too much of any problems where it comes to uh, viewing for the next couple of days. So what are we going to be looking for tonight? Not too much in the way of satellites, but again, some good planet spotting. We've got Venus up there. Mars is not doing too bad. Satellite picture for tonight is showing, again, mostly clear skies. We've got some clouds up around Missouri, Kansas, and northwest Arkansas. Not a threat for any stargazing immediately for the area into this evening. Taking a look at the crescent moon, 1st of December today, hurricane season is over with, and looking in the skies, the moon will be growing toward the first quarter phase is what's called a waxing crescent as of right now and it'll be ascending a little bit closer to Mars in the course of the next few days. Notice at the bottom portion of your screen just past sunset you might be able to catch Mercury down toward the sunset. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see unfortunately. You're going to have to look for it and have a very clear view of the western skies. Over the next few days the crescent moon will be growing larger and rising into the sky getting a little bit later and a little bit later as we see again the moon continuing to wax its way on forward and we should see again Again, some very nice views of the planets over the next couple of days, at least up until about Friday and into the weekend. Not doing too good on satellite spotting as we'll be looking for a new storm system to come in and give us the possibility of some more showers out there. Now, Mars is still visible up there. Venus close to the horizon. Mercury very close to the horizon. The moon rising toward Mars into the next couple of days, which is still visible as a fairly dim, bright, or fairly dim point of uh, light. It was a lot brighter in the course of the last several weeks and months as Earth and Mars move at different speeds around the solar system. Sometimes they're closer together, sometimes they are much farther apart, and we're kind of in that mode right now to where we're going downwards as we move away from Mars, as we passed Mars in our orbit just a few uh, months ago. That, again, is when we hit the brightest point of the year, when Mars was spectacularly bright. As it got a lot closer to Earth, we were able to see a lot more light out of that as it was at perihelion. Now at aphelion, aphelion, that's going to be coming up relatively soon and Mars is going to continue to get dimmer and dimmer over the course of the next uh, several weeks and months and then appearing back toward very bright once again as Earth catches up in its orbit around the solar system as Mars moves just a little bit slower than Earth does so we lap it every way every year going around the solar system by just a little bit faster than what Mars goes out there. Now for tonight International Space Station visible just into the area right after sunset, rising in the northwest and making its way on down toward the uh, south and west. So as of right now, some beautiful conditions out there to be able to look for that. If you're looking for a specific place to go to, you can go to in-the-sky.org. Is a good place to pick out where your next satellite spotting will be. And over the next several days, we will see again the possibility of some pretty good amounts of viewing in the International Space Station. There's also going to be a Chinese rocket booster up there, which will be visible for the next uh, couple of evenings, depending on your location and sky conditions out there. But once again, going into the weekend, that could be a little bit on the difficult side. Now, there are still a lot of asteroids flying by, a couple of them very close into the next couple of days. Nothing that's going to be causing a direct uh, impact with Earth, but once again, we're looking at some uh, close shaves from these out there. Some of them are pretty big, too, about 10 to 20 meters, even a little bit bigger than that. And radar scientists uh, posting a view of a six-foot-long asteroid, one of the smallest asteroids that has ever been charted moving through the solar system and just discovered a few days ago. 
So pretty incredible news uh, for that. If you'd like to see more about what you can do to pick your telescope for the holidays, whether giving as a gift or getting a hint to tell uh, your favorite person who you'd like to buy a telescope for you for the holidays, if you'd like to know more about it, this Friday, tomorrow, is the best place to be at Christian Brothers University. Again, it's a free meeting of the Memphis Astronomical Society. And if you'd like to know more about what is available out there, the technical doodads, the prices, the sturdiness, the capability, the transportability of some of these telescopes. If you'd like to know more about what is the gift, the best gift for the holiday season for gift giving, all you have to do is show up tomorrow night at Science Auditorium 153 in Assisi Hall, and the Memphis Astronomical Society members will be glad to help you. More information available at memphisastro.org. Don't forget to download our weather app. It's available at your particular app store. You can find out more about what to look for as we go into the next several days and weeks and keep track with the News Channel 3 forecast by downloading this app. Thanks to the uh, kind folks at Bartlett Elementary for inviting me up there today, especially Mrs. Tudor for uh, inviting me to talk about moon phases and a little bit more about science. And again, over the next few days, the view from earthsky.org, a very nice crescent or a thumbnail moon out there, looking again very nice in the evening skies. And this is what I was telling the kids about for today, that if you go out right after sunset, you'll be able to see the crescent moon, which in fact you can for right now, and a good opportunity to see stuff like that. One question that we tackled was about the solar eclipse coming up this next year. And one young student was asking about when this is going to be. It's going to be in about mid to late August. And that is going to be, again, the best opportunity for seeing that big solar eclipse tracking across the continental United States, very close to the Mid-South area. Not directly over the Mid-South, but close enough to where it should be a great view of what's going on. And this is the information about that. You can also get this web page available from memphisastronomicalsociety.org or pardon me, at memphisastro.org, the Memphis Astronomical Society will be doing a lot more on the eclipse as we go throughout the next few days. Stay up to date with what's going on with astronomy. All you have to do is drop by Skyblog3, available on all these various social media networks if you'd like to stop by and keep an eye on what's going on. If there's anything you'd like to see out here, where it comes to satellite flyovers, anything in the way of what's coming up in the way of good viewing uh, for planets and comets and asteroids and stuff like that, all you have to do is just let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com.